Hey, my name is Willie. Can we talking about what I've been up to? Unfortunately, my better phone is out of order right now. I'm waiting on a new phone to come in the, the mail, so I'm not going to be able to edit this one. But I've been installing a new clutch. Uh, this is an electric clutch from Extreme Clutches. Uh, that would be the box over there. I'll put a link in the description below where I get the parts from. Uh, hooked it all up. I utilized the same stud that holds the muffler up. And I put a, a stud in with a lock nut and I put flathead slot in the end of the stud so I can put the stud in and then tighten down the nut to keep this clutch from moving. And uh, put a bracket down there to keep this out of the way. I checked the belt alignment with the pulleys before I put it all together because I can always add or subtract spacers. Uh, I wanted to take a little bit of a shortcut. I took the clutch apart so I didn't have to pull the whole engine out of the frame. So I didn't have to undo the throttle cable or the electrical off of this engine to get it out of the tractor to put the clutch in. However, it was a bit of a hassle to put it in because there's not much room there between the end of the shaft and the frame. But I managed to get it in there. I had to undo the coupler so I could move the engine back a quarter of an inch as well as undo all the engine mount bolts so I can lift the, the shaft up about a half inch. So as for electrical, I wanted to show you what I had done in here. Let's see how it comes out. I added two relays in here. One's back here, one's up here. And I added some switches in. There's one switch here, one switch up there. The one on the top operates the PTO, and the one on the bottom operates the lights. Both of them are rotary style switches. So when you have the electric lift here that goes up and down, it's you don't get the PTO switch mixed up with the attachment lift switch. As well as down here, because you're getting on and off tractor, I didn't want a toggle switch that was going to get kicked. So this is a rotary switch that's not going to get kicked on or off or broken. It's a pretty, stouty, uh, a pretty stout, well-built switch. I'll also put those down a link in the description as well as these relays. As for the relays, they're ground activated, so the switches are both ground right here, two wires. And then I get my positive from the block up here, and this gets power from the key switch. So the there's always 12 volts run to the relays when the key switch is on. And then all I have to do is add a ground to activate the relays to send power out. One relay powers the headlights, which here's the outlet right here. And I have a plug here to split the power. One wire runs to the, the rear light back there. And this is where I'm going to hook up the wire to the headlights. I haven't hooked that up yet. And I can stick a battery in it quick. I'll put you on pause. I can show you that it's working. So hang on. Okay, I can turn my key on. That's a clutch on, and that's a clutch off, and that's my light on. Where did I turn it off? Yeah, I turned it off. So that's my light on and off. So that's working. And then I have my rotor switch right here for the PTO. Okay, so I'm going to finish putting this thing back together and see if I can't get the snowblower back together before 7.30 so I can make it for live streams tonight. Uh, anyway, I'm, I don't have cell phone service right now. I should have a new phone coming in three days, so I'm just using the Wi-Fi. So, hope you found that somewhat interesting. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And here's some bonus information. You can put a newer regulator on here and it still works with the old style engines. The original regulator had died on here, so... Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye.